What's happening troops? How are we? Hope we're all doing very well. You join me here, it's a Sunday evening right now and I'm very hungover. But we're going to run into some rust and we're going to be nice and relaxing. We're on some dead server rust. And we're just going to see what shenanigans we can get up to. I mean, you know how this goes, right? We hop in, we find a few decayed bases, we get really rich. There are some other players on the server. As you can see, one of them just took cargo. Both the rigs are up though. And there's a Chinook flying around the map somewhere. So there's going to be a lot of stuff we can get into. Hopefully run into some of the other players. Not too sure how many there are, but this is definitely one of those dead, dead servers. Also, huge shout out to the 1,000 subscribers. That is a huge W. Thank you very much, guys. I'm going to try and avoid doing the whole like running around, having to do key cards and all that if we want to get any scrap or get any progression because that's always really annoying. I'm going to go and try and find some decayed bases on the server. It's a few days into wipe. It's force wipe as well. So there's a little bit of... Oh my god. <laughs> I would just say there's a little bit of like decayed potential given that it's been a few days. Oh, surely, surely something huge. A minigun. That's locked. Oh my. Metal is a good sign. Anything in the barbecue? No, I'd like some food. Big box. Oh, 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 yes, that. That is big. Hey, not too bad, not too bad. I'd love to break open this and then just get a tier two straight away. I accidentally used that med kit as well, but I believe... Oh, no, I need a bit more cloth and then we could make a backpack. Let's see. Oh, and there's a sleeper in there that I can't really get to. All right, well, we'll mark this and we should come back because if we can get that tier two, that is pretty big. We should get something that we can destroy the TC with. Maybe, maybe we go to Outpost and get any Yoka and break into that real quick. Right, well, I don't have any BBs on this server either, so we're just going to have to recycle everything, I think. There's no reason to keep much. I'm going to keep these, though, so we can make a backpack. Make a backpack, use the scrap to buy some smokes or something to make some ammo for an Ioka. Uh, all that kind of vibes. And then we'll get open and bust open that TC, I reckon. We're going to get this jackhammer as well, instead of just hitting it with the Ioka shots, because that was going to take absolutely ages, and I couldn't really be bothered, because we had the scrap for that. Now I'm going to make a backpack and get back out there, I reckon. Okay, so we can put almost everything into our backpack. I'm having some Wi-Fi issues as well, man. I'm really annoyed, so I'm not even going to get into how much it's been pissing me off. But we'll run a lot of that stuff away. And otherwise, we'll head back to this decayed base with the jackhammer and get ourselves a tier 2. The boys and I went out last night and we were like celebrating what was a mix of 1k subs and also the fact that it was one of the boys 21st. But... In my mind, it was all about me, because obviously everything's all about me all the time. And I got absolutely horsed, mate. I woke up in an alleyway, and like a bunch of my friends were like completely naked, and I just didn't know what was going on. So don't ask in the comments, because I don't know what happened. I think I'm still a straight man. But that could have changed. We have no clue. But I was going off on a bit of a tangent there. Time to go get ourselves a tier 2 workbench, and oh, the sun's about to set, and I hate rust nighttime, of course. Everyone hates it. Ready ho. If we take out, oh, that could be tight actually. No, no, there we go, just looking down this line here. If we take out this foundation, it would just be the TC and the furnace that goes. So that's gonna be fun. I've got no BPs in the server, so I wouldn't mind some scrap. Open this up, surely some scrap, man. Oh, 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 okay. Um, arguably somewhat better than what I wanted. Uh, I will take almost all of that, that is great. And, even better, if we give me this hammer, turn around, and we can take this tier 2 after we repair our jackhammer. Oh, you beauty, mate. Now that, that is huge. Actually, I'm going to take this tier 1 as well, because why not, right? And I think we go hit some trees during the night time and set up a base. We just got to find out a nice place to have a base. I quite like the look of this island all the way out here. It's got a little treehouse place on it, and it's got a sulfur quarry. I reckon we go, and during the night time, just run out there and then set up shop on a nice little island. That could be pretty, pretty sick. What is this thing here? My man's got the the machine behind the triple backwards shop front. Oh, I guess the backwards they can fit that thing in. Oh, he left a horse. Wait, that looks like a flashlight on in there. Let's get out of here. I'm taking this horse and going, man. Right, I spent the night time chopping down trees, but we've made it to just the edge of the island here, and it looks uninhabited. Obviously, I can't see very much. There's an airdrop over there. We'll go and get that, actually. We will quickly slap down this 2 by one and then we'll go and get that airdrop, because that'll be a very, very good thing for us, especially if it has a weapon of some sort. I reckon if we just slap down a 2 by one for starters, like somewhere here, you know, like a bit of a vantage point of the rest of the island. There we go. Slap this down, and then go suss the airdrop that was somewhere over there.
We're just gonna have to put everything in these boxes. I think we'll keep some of the bandages. Other than that, let's go hunt an airdrop, right? We'll take this airdrop exploration as also a bit of a chance to discover the rest of the map and see where other players could be. There it is. I see it. It's up there. Up in that uh, little crevice over there. A good old snow wipe is something I've not done in a while. You know those wipes where you hunker down for a solid two or three days straight, live in a fatty snow base? Oh boys, those are the days, those are the days. That is the airdrop, right? Just up there? Is that it? Upside down and everything? Surely. Yeah, that is it. Okay, perfect, perfect. At least it's not been touched, which is good. Uh, just give us a gun. Please, just a gun would be huge. Anything else is a bonus. Oh yes, two guns. Two guns and a little bit of clothing. I will take that. Perfect, and we got ammo for, ammo for both the guns, so we can research one of these, probably the SAR and the 5.5 five ammo, because we've got the tier 2 as well. I was going to say we could get some cards and do rig now, but I'd also like to research at least the ammo, get a fair bit of ammo, and then maybe go for a quick circle around the map just to see what's going on with everyone. Okay, let us just follow this road up and around. We'll hoof onto some of these roads. Crate at Train Yard. Now, that's been there for over 15 minutes. I think that was it when I just logged onto the server, to be honest. So we'll have to go and see what's going on there. Maybe get a cheeky locked crate. Otherwise, let's go explore. Look at all those nodes, man. We might as well stop in here and get ourselves on the keycard ladder. Big ugly bear out there. At least this way, if we don't find 12C4 in a decayed base, we can just, you know, do cow. I mean, not cow. What do you call them? Bears. Bear, bear, bear. Angry bear, angry bear. At least this way, we can just come back and do the cards if we need to. Oh, I'll take that high qual, though. Um, is Mr. Bear gonna leave us alone? I'm gonna run in, just get like an eyes on if I can, see if there's any other people here, if the crate's been started or not. And then we will proceed accordingly. It's, yeah, look, it's got the, the pop-up on it. So it's started, I don't know if it's open, or if there's someone actively like watching it. All right, what you do in these situations, man? Literally, you stack up everything you've got, you drop your backpack, there we go. Remember to come back for it, hopefully, at some point. Otherwise, let's, let's see if we can get in here. 3 minutes and 50 seconds. Bro, whoever's done that, yeah? They've got to be around, surely. Can we just park up? Like, hide somewhere for the remaining time? Boys, it's bare intense just sitting around here, right? Knowing, like, there's one other person coming for you. It's pretty cooked. What I'm thinking is that whoever's done it has just come, started it, and then like set the timer on their phone and then run off. So hopefully they're out doing something else. They're not going to like be here the moment that it pops. Gives us a, mi a minute to, to grab it and then just get on the horse and get out of here, you know? All right, she's about to open. There we go. Let's just run up. Take a look. Oh, oh, ho, oh, 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 what a kit. What a crate. What a crate. Go, go, gadget. Go, go, gadget. Give me this AK. Let me load it up. Get what was that? Was that? Was that? I, oh, it's a man with an LR. Is he naked with an LR? Oh no, he's got a, he's got a face mask on. Oh, thank you very much. That's a name that I've not seen in a few years. Oh my days, that brings back memories. Well, I kit up just for some context. That was a guy that like I used to beef with on the server so much back in the day. I want to. That was a big fumble. I want to go get that AK back. Also, what I forgot is that my backpack's lying there. My backpack's just lying at the side of train yard, and that's very far away. See what's at train yard. I'm not very hopeful for any of my stuff still being there. And then we're gonna get back and find that man's base. Honestly, I'm gonna find that man's base and door camp him if I have to. I'm not losing my start that way. Now, I remember once upon a time, I was beefing with this guy so hard, right? I stayed up all night and I went to offline him at like 4 a.m. I went around, and, look, I was a dickhead, I'll, I'll be real, right? I was in the wrong. I went around every base on the server and raided it. And this guy ended up living on like a little two by one, like up in the hills, kind of like that. Okay, something tells me this might not be where this guy lives. Yeah, this base has seen better days for sure. Yeah, that thing's gone, skis. There's nothing here, man. Okay, let's see what has been left behind. Ooh. Okay, yeah, not much at all. The green card, I guess, is something. Yeah, oh, he didn't get the backpack. And, or did. No, he did get the backpack. He very much did get the backpack. Yeah, kind of the natural way to go. At least we know he ran this way now, though, so we can guess this is where his base is. We're just going to have to look around now, guys. See where he lives, eh? It could honestly be anywhere, sort of. If he ran out this way, it could be anywhere up here. So I'm just going to run through all these, like, peninsulae and see what's cooking. All right, let's be very quiet around here. See if we can hear some footsteps or anything. Maybe it's my guy's base. No way, is this powered? If this is powered... Oh, it's not powered. I was gonna say otherwise we could get the get the car. 
out of it easy peasy. We could break into this, it's actually pretty low. Maybe we, maybe we lob some of these grenades at it and that will definitely open it to be honest. Let's do that, let's do that. At least we'll get something out of it. It should just be one or two. Uh, oh, one more, one more. I'm lagging a little bit. Please do excuse it. All right, perfect. That. Oh, that knocked on the tree. I thought someone was farming. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. two thousand scrap, 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 boys, 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 give me this, 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 give me that, give me this, let's go, let's go, let's go, wait, fuel, 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 uh, 53, I mean, I'll take it, I'll take it, no, no, I can't take it, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, um, 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 two thousand scrap, boys, two thousand scrap, boys, two thousand scrap, boys, I, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, but that was, like, absolutely the last thing I was expecting to find in the back of that. Was not expecting 2,000 scrap, 3,000 frags, and 200 HQ, 250 HQM. That's a madness. Let's get home. We just gotta run home. Wait, and there's an airdrop directly on the way home as well. This is just lining up for us, guys. We've got... We'll hit that. We'll go hit that. Okay, Heli's gone past us. The airdrop's just up here. I'm trying to get up this cliff, and we'll grab it. And boom, we just need to boat home. Hopefully, what well, I mean, what do I want? Some some better guns, to be honest, would be great. An AK would be golden right about now. We've got all the scrap we need, you know what I'm saying? There's a guy there. Uh, oh my god, I've only got six bullets, I think. I don't know what's going on, how many bullets I've got. What? I've got 24? They Were they all invalids? It was like a naked guy around about here. I can hear him. I just don't have a flashlight. There we go. Oh my god, he had an AK on him. What the hell? Why is, why is my man... Um, why is my man naked with these guns? What is what is he doing? This is this is, this is scripted content, scripted content, just scripted content. He had a backpack. Where did the backpack go? There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, um, give me... Drop the hazzy and take some meds as well. No, I need to get out of here. Alright, let's mark that body because we're going to have to come back. That, that's an, that's, that's an insane come up. Why did he have so much stuff? I know I fumbled all the loot, man. I always fumble loot priorities like crazy, but, but 2.3k scrap is just next level insane, bro. Just looking here, I literally, I just, I don't know what shots these are because, like, I sprayed at them, yeah? And I went to reload, but I had no bullets, but then it also, like, set the mag back to full, which I think means all of the initial shots had been, like, I'd, I'd been... Mm, packet loss? It was packet loss, that's what I'm struggling with my internet, it's already been packet loss. I don't understand, but what I do understand is 2,354 scrap, 300 HQM, like 3k frags, and well, this is, we've got the most despicable loot in here that I could have dropped to get so much more, but hey, we move, we move. Why did old mate not have his gunner, is what I'm thinking, right? He had a Tommy on him, and it was on his back. Which makes me think maybe he did have a gun and it was in his hand. Otherwise he had meds in his hand and he was healing. I'm not too sure. I'm going to drop this back, yeah? And I'm just going to F1 kill and run down to the torch and see what we can see. Um, let's see. Oh, here, is, here he is. Wait, so we've got that. The med kit that I dropped. The silencer. Oh my god, what was this? Oh no, I dropped that GP as well. Okay, what on earth is going on with all this loot? What I want to know is, did I see an AK on his back? Well, no, because if it was on his back, it would have been in his inventory, so it would have had to have been in his hands, and I don't think it was. It doesn't seem like there's anything around the place that was in my man's hands. Right, well, I mean, we'll take this, whatever it was, a little bit of stuff, and we'll take that back to base. I may have died to a bear, boys. And it was all the lag's fault and definitely not mine. Oh boys, cargo's coming in. Cargo's coming in. And look, I've never done cargo. It's, this is force wipe, by the way. Force wipe was like a day or two ago. And I've never done it with the new feature where it stops at harbour. So, oh, I definitely want to go and do that. That is perfect timing. I've got meds crafting 100 low grade. There we go. And we're off. Amazing, amazing. Let's see, is it going to pull into this harbour? Not too sure. It'll be one of these ones, so probably more beneficial for us to go this way around the map. We'll see if we catch it, and when we do, if anyone's on board. Oi, boys, what is that thing? Like some huge comp- well, not huge, but like decent-sized compound thing there. We'll have to go suss that after cargo. Oh yeah, look, it's fully going into dock on that harbour. 
Okay, so we get eight minutes from when it pulls up, but that also means that so many people could board it in that time. Oh, it's gonna be a bit of a rough one, this. Is that both scientists? Oh, no way. I think it might be, boys. We could be in business here. All right, now how do we get onto this ship? We could jump in and take the ladder, I'm sure. Otherwise, I think there must be a, like an actual way on, right? I don't want to miss the ship, though. That's something I'm a bit concerned about. Oh, you can climb this rigging. What on earth is going on here? Yeah, there's a ladder there. Oh, and it's... Oh, this thing. It's bringing in these things. Oh, can I get onto this one? Please, 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 please. Jump! Oh, yes, we did it. Surely it brings us onto the ship, right? Oh, my God, we're on it. Yo, that's cool. That's so cool. All right, we're really getting lowered into the heart of things here. There we go. Oh, this is pretty sick, man. Yo, this is heavy. Can I jump off? Oh, okay, it doesn't like that. All right, what if I jump off now? There we go. We need to get these crates started, by the way. There we go. Uh, should be, is there another crate? Yeah, it's down here. It should actually be right below me. There it is. And there should be one more right at the very front. I'll come back and do all these crates once we're on the ocean. Wait, hold on. Oh my gosh, it's doors and stuff that you can open. That's really cool. Elite crate, give us something good. Um, oh, flamethrower, HLMG. I mean, I won't say no to that. A bit of extra low grade as well. You know how we do. Um, there we go, and there we go. Easy peasy, right? Start this crate, and hopefully this thing takes off soon. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to check my phone and we started taking off here. Alright, alright, so we're on the move. There we go. Now, I've heard reports of, like, cargo being extremely bugged this way. Things like a fourth crate spawning, or sometimes cargo just being like, oh, screw this, just driving off the map way too early. We'll hope none of that happens. Although, if it does, I mean, I guess it'll be a bit of a laugh. Genuinely, boys, I've been having such bad Wi-Fi problems with this force wipe. Obviously, you're not going to be able to tell too much from the video, I hope. I'll keep cutting out all the times where it stutters. But I'm going to keep you around, like, not edit it out for a, a little second, just so you can see roughly what I'm struggling with. Well, there's a tugboat out there, just in, like, the middle of that lagoon. What do you call that? Guys, let's get geographical real quick. What do you call that? It's an outflow from an inflow with a river attached, boys. This is an estuary. Come on. Geography. Is that geography? What do you call it? Geology. No, geology is rocks. Is geography like mountains and hills and countries and that? I think it is. Either way, that estuary is getting marked as a boat raid. Well, there's another tugboat, boys. And that is not an estuary. That is a beach. I actually don't know what the, the technical name for a beach is. Maybe that's just the right name. But we'll mark that as well. I wouldn't mind raiding some tugboats. All right, this crate's almost open. That launch is big as well. That's another BP we will not need when it comes to raiding. Very big, but surely give us some something nice. Ooh, I will take that. I'll take that. I'll take all of this. That's been a, that's a good crate. Hey, I can't say no. There we go. Second crate. I've just been busy yapping to myself about not being able to eat food. And oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I'll take some guns, I guess. Hell yeah. And let's see what this one has in store for us. Some more boom would be great, please. Or an AK. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hold on. Settle, petal. What is that? Double airdrop. The loot organization's getting a little bit out of control here, but trust me, it's it's a process, and you got to trust the process. Right, I think with that, and then that, just in case you use 2 MLRS, we've done a successful cargo, boys. Surprise, surprise, no counters on the dead server, but I guess that kind of is what it is. We'll head back. Maybe we'll expand the base or something. We also have these two airdrops we need to throw. And we should really start getting some sulfur and metal and all that stuff cooking because we don't have a single furnace placed yet. Honestly, boys, we just need to get our hands on a rocket because we can research this. And then we've got this and we could research if we want to. Oh, here's that lag again. Then we need to go to tier three. And then we'd also have to get... Yeah, a rocket to research. Oh, we've got two rocket launchers. Never mind, we don't even have to research it then. Oh, mate, this is getting pretty simple then. Pretty simple. Okay, now as the morning sun shines through, we're gonna have to go and start a little bit of a farming montage here.
Right, also, while I'm out farming, I'm gonna drop, boom, both of these. Now, there's a sneaky little trick you can do when you put them on a garage door. So we're gonna give that a crack, and it gets rid of the smoke. We don't need to do it because it's a dead server, but I do want to try it. If you go like that, there we go, and you roll it up, I think, yep, boom, the smoke disappears. So technically, no one can really tell you've thrown them in, you've called them in. Drops, yep, they've just landed. Perfect. Looks like no one's come to investigate as well, which is pretty good. Oh, okay. Two satchels is not terrible. I really need a rocket though. I would love a rocket. Rockets and airdrops, I feel like it's rare. Yeah, that's oh, that's a bit of a stinky one. Alright, while all my furnaces are cooking up and all that, I'm gonna go and try find that base that we took the car from. Because it was somewhere up around here. I know there's another crate at train yard. It's a very confusing base because there's carpet in here, which means uh, this isn't honeycomb, because why would it be honeycomb if that's there? While I'm around here, I'm going to try and find the, uh, what's his name, Pelicanos? Pel Pelicanos? I'm going to try and find his base. Right, I figured I'd swing by and see what these tugboats were about. This is a sheet door, right? Yeah, it's a sheet door. Oh yeah, look, there's some boxes there, man. Oh, but a tier one is not a great sign. I'm not sure if that'll be worth the raid. I'll take a look in from the other side as well. Just one box, a tier one, and a research table. I don't think that's going to be worth the raid. All right, let's see what's going on with the second tugboat. I'm seeing a furnace and a fridge. Ugh, two fridges and just, of course, just a sheet metal door. Yeah, a locked small box and a fridge with a single unskinned sleeping bag. Not really what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Looks like both of these would be bust, so I might just take them off the map real quick. Oh, hold on. Someone's hitting trees up there. Um, I don't have any sort of weapon. Let's get a name check of who this is. Hiya, mate. Oi. Yeah, who is it? Oh. What's going on? How are we? I like, I, your, I'm just, I like your outfit. Thank you, mate. I like yours, too. I'm looking for someone that goes by the name of Pelicanos. Pelicanos. If I find him, I'll put it in uh, global. Alright, I appreciate it very much, man. Thank you very much. That's the other thing about these dead servers, eh? Everyone seems to be a lot older, granted, and um, a lot more relaxed. Alright, boys, well, I couldn't find that guy's base, and it's getting a bit late, and I'm really hungry, and the football's on, so there's a lot of things going on. And what I'm trying to say is I'm going to end this here for tonight, and we'll hop back on tomorrow. I think we'll survive the night. I'm pretty confident. If we don't, then, you know, something's gone pretty wrong. But we'll quickly, yeah, use some of this HQM to get all of this stuff nice and armoured. And uh, we'll see you in the morning. What's happening, troops? I'm back. It's the morning time. And I'm going to have to take a quick stock of uh, how we're doing, what everything's looking like. And then we'll figure out what we're up to to start off the day. I've got uh, some of the furnaces restocked. The house is looking all good. Doesn't look like anyone's been around the place, so the hemp plants and everything are still here. Fair enough, fair enough. But we'll do a bit of a farming run, just loop around, you know, up around this area, see what these bases going on up here are like. Especially that loaded car base, I really want to see if that's, you know, decaying or if we sh should still work towards getting inside it. Boys, I've developed a bit of a suspicion as to where this Pelicanos guy could live, yeah? He ran off this direction and we couldn't find any bases, but there is a cheeky cave up there. Also, I wouldn't say no to this cheeky locked crate here. If it's not activated, we can go activate it and come back in 15 minutes. I'd, I'd love a chance at a rocket, man. We see that rocket researcher get to tier 3 and we are cooking. Also, while we're up here, we'll take a look at what this weird structure thing is up here. Now, this has got to be pretty new, right? I feel like we would have seen this if it was up and around the area. Although, we could have missed... Oh, shit, there's a guy there. Alright, I mean, that's probably the person that started the crate. With door. Why are you coming after me? Can I get your name? What's your name? Gun. No, you're after what's his face? Ah, uh, we had this conversation yesterday, yeah, correct? Yeah, you you were after. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, far. that's no worries, <laughs> mate. Was that you that was just down at the train yard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, you feel free to take all that, mate. I was just looking for the you know who. I apologise for shooting at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, I haven't seen him yet. Okay, it was a med stick behind you for you. You have a good day, though. Right, I reckon 
We need to take a, a closer look, see what's cooking with this. Yeah, look, he's got external turrets. He's got one there, and I assume, yep, one there as well. So it'd be one behind here. So turrets, check. Um, let's see, get on the roof, or on the top of this thing, and see what we can see on his roof. Oh, a pair of binoculars, mate. It's perfect, because we hop up here, and whip these bad boys up. What are we seeing? Bolty turrets, yeah, bolty turrets, external TCs, uh, wide gaps and that. Yeah, the usual, nothing crazy. Four windmills as well, by the way. Yeah, he's definitely been playing for a minute, boys. He's been playing for a minute. Okay, boys, here's the base. I know it might look like perhaps the worst base expansion design you've ever seen, and in fact it is, but um, welcome to Scotty Rust. <laughs> this is despicable. I mean, at least I can put a box there, I guess. Probably soft side through that, but there's a garage door, I guess. Yeah, look, it's, it's a terrible base. So that's why we build it, right? That's why we do it, guys. Now let's get back on with doing stuff that actually needs to be done. Alright, one thing that needs to be done now is going and sussing out that cave and seeing if it does have a base in it. And I've got a bag right beside it, so if we just go like this, we should be able to just spawn over there, see what's inside, and... I mean, I, I, I was gonna say pray there's a base there. If there's a base there, uh, we can assume it's that guy's, right? Oh my god, raining a cave base is not gonna be fun, brother. Oh, boys, no way. Oh, no. I mean, it's stone. Oh, and that sheet. Oh god, I think we just have to assume that he lives here. I mean, I guess we kind of good intuition on like calling this because he didn't have a base anywhere else. But oh my days, is this going to be a pain or what? Oh, this is going to be a pain, but we might just have to farm up and go for it, boys. Right, well, I think we take the first bit of our scrap here and just turn this into a tier 3. It's going to need to be done no matter what. Why not do it now? There we go. And then we can get a good look at how much scrap it could take us to get to Rocket if we need to. Uh, otherwise, we could just find one and then research it. We've got 500 left over, but you might know, say, hey, that's not very much. But look, we've got hella components, to be honest, man. We could go on a fat recycle run. Okay, so it's 1750 scrap to get all the way down to rocket. Now granted, that also gets us explode ammo and C4, but that's gonna be a lot of stuff. We will need sulfur. I think we go and farm up just a few thousand sulfur, not too much, get that cooking, and then we go and do something like rig. Maybe just go do one of the rigs. Might try hooning over to this airdrop real quick. Looks clear. There's a lot of sulfur nodes around. Can airdrops give you rockets? I don't, I don't even know if they can. I pray they can. This it would save us so much time. Oh, a C4. I mean, hey, look. The next best thing. We don't need any of that nonsense, though. There we go. I'm going to get all this sulfur cooking, and then I think we will take... Because we now have two C4, right? Two C4 and three satchels is the rough amount of boom that we have. I reckon we head out to that car base that's somewhere over here, I believe. And, you know, the, the base where we got that car with, like, 2k scrap in the back of it. And we just blow in one of the roof tiles. Oh, hold on. What's this I'm seeing? There's a base with windmills on it up here. This has fully escaped my... Yeah, I've not really done this side of the map before. This has fully escaped my reconnaissance until now. Right, let's see what we have here. What on earth? Was that a turret? Is that like a SAR turret that just took... Yeah, yep, yep, there's turrets on that one. Just SAR turrets out in the open, I guess. Yeah, just a sheet metal base with a, a SAR turret on it. Interesting. Interesting indeed. There's a rug in this one. Should we just blow this square, maybe, and see what's inside? I'm actually kind of tempted to blow the wall just so I know I can get out when I do it. You know, I reckon we'll do it. I'm, I'm a bit concerned that this is just fully a car base and that's it. But we, we need this come up, and hopefully there is a come up inside. Alright, that's one. That's two. Oh, that's, oh, that's huge. Oh, this could be huge. Wait, if I stop lagging and open this box... Oh, boys, 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 this could be huge. How do we get in? Can I satchel this out? Nice. Oh, go on, 300 scrap. Was that TC? Oh, that was TC. Oh, never mind, we can just do that. Boom, perfect. Seal this. Perfect. There we go. It's broken anyway, so we'll throw it out. And let's see what's in here. Oh, not much. Ooh. Ooh, I'll take the LRs. Okay, and... Oh, C4 satchel. Okay, a little bit of uh, our stuff back. 
nothing really out of these and I mean I'll take some of this stuff okay all right not a terrible situation oh go on what's that advanced Orti perfect just under the mixing table I'll take a basic one as well because why not that's quite huge what about some of these boxes oh three diesel that's big that's 3k sulfur right there but hey this is good we'll take this stuff we've got a bag in here now so we can spawn back if we want otherwise we'll just leave it open uh don't really like need any of the stuff that desperately that I'd seal it all off I think maybe we try and fit some of these guns in and then we just go. Okay, home sweet home. I'm just going to go straight away and toss this 3 diesel into the sulfur quarry here. Get another 3k coconut. I sold all of our HQM that we had just on us from the raid for scrap and recycled all the components we had. So now we're up to 800, which is not too bad. And we've got 500 at home, which, oi, that brings us up to about, if my math is correct, 13, almost 1400, which is only 300 away from being able to fully tech tree down to rocket which is huge actually boys we can get this raiding stuff underway in no time at all oh i didn't realize it was two turrets on top of this thing uh that'll take a bit of time but we can do it right should be about 100 arrows each which um will take a while Ooh, cargo's coming in, and it's coming in from a really good spot, boys. Um, I might just off myself here, actually. We don't need any of this stuff. That turret is going to take ages to kill, and cargo could give us exactly what we need in terms of a rocket. So we'll get over there, we'll get up real quick, get on the boat, and catch it on its way in. Okay, here she is. This is not going to be fun in, by any means, especially with the lag, the night time, the cold. Um, let's see what we can... Oh, oh no, there are scientists. Okay, I thought there was no scientists for a second, and I was going to be a little bit concerned. Alright, we got first crate here. Perfect. And second crate's just spawned at the back of the ship. We'll run up and grab that. Let's grab some of these mill crates, because why not? I'm telling you, man, we need food crates on cargo. It's just, it's never fun. And I know it's my fault for not being prepared, but still, it ain't, it ain't fun. That's pretty cool. There's just doors here now, so you can, like, oh, I could spray anyone, mate. That's sick. If, so if someone's coming from downstairs, uh, if you're downstairs and someone's coming to counter, just hang out at one of these and, mate, you have got them dead easy peasy. All right, first crate almost up, boys. We really, really need a rocket from one of these. Well, we don't really. It would save us a lot of scrap, though, and it would be nice. Let's see. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, boys, the minigun. The minigun. Oh, my God, what a crate. Uh, now, oh, my days. Look at this thing. I think it can only be reloaded at a workbench, so we need to be sure not to unload the ammo. But, boys, that is gorked. Let's go. Let's go upstairs and get the second crate. Alright, crate number two. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, that's a stinky crate. That's a stinky crate. Oh, well. Yeah, let's spray down the side to see what the accuracy is like. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's pretty precise. Like, if you can hit him at all from there, and it chews through ammo. Right, here we go. Oh, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. It's, it's it's not bad, but it's not ideal. We really needed a rocket there. Oh well, we're just going to have to re uh, tech tree it now because I'm not waiting to do another cargo. Well, look at that. Whole cargo done before it even got to dock at the ferry or at the harbour. Not too bad. We will go and recycle at this lighthouse because it's a pretty easy spot to defend if we do come under attack. And then continue home, I guess. Wait, what? Another crate is spawned on cargo? <laughs> No way! I've heard about that bug. Oh my gosh, I should have stuck around. That's quite funny. A fourth crate is spawned. Oh, that's hilarious. Alright, that was one big run home, but now I think I'm just going to research rocket, craft up as much boom as we can, maybe do a little bit of tree farming if I need to, all that kind of jazz, and bring you back when we're ready to raid. Right, troops? Here's what we got for the raid. I cooked up like three more rockets. So now we've got one, two, three, four, 15 rockets. Not too bad. Two C4. It's not moving because of the ping. I hate this thing so much. 100 X blow. And of course, some MLRS. Oh, and nice five satchels. Great. 
So what I think I'm going to do is just fly over to the abandoned mill base right here. Take out the sign. Oh, actually, no. I lost. Oh, hold on a minute. That bag's gone. That guy might be active. I had a bag there. Okay, well, what I'll have to do then is fly over here. I was going to have to do that anyways. Fly over here. Take a look at, like, what's going on. Get the mark, probably. And then launch the MRS. But in saying that, I've not really explored the map properly. Definitely not with a mini. So I think I'll just take some fuel and go uh, have all the boom on me. If we die, we die, and that's the end of the video. Obviously, you know the rules. Just fly around to see what we can see. Maybe there's a better base. Okay, so just up here should be the SAR turret base. But if I my death mark is oh oh wow, he's added more turrets and he's expanded. So yep, he's definitely online. Hang about overhead and see if he comes out maybe. I never got to check out this island as well. We only checked out the cave, which... What? Well, my bag up there has been destroyed as well. That's weird. Why are my bags getting destroyed? That's that's super cooked. Maybe we do try the cave base. 15 rockets and 2 C4 with 100... Oh, 100 expo. I mean, that's... Oh, that's... That, I mean, that's enough, maybe. I mean, not enough to raid the whole thing, but enough to get in and see what's going on. I don't know. I'm a bit confused. Right, troops? Looks like we just have to hope that this works. It's a very weird sort of grand... Ooh, grand finale to a raid. Not knowing if you're going to have enough. Going in, well, actually, to be fair, dramatically underprepared. But we'll take out some of this stuff. Got a rough idea on how we'll hit it. Uh, don't need that. And we'll just get in. Maybe he's online. Maybe the bunker's open. Who knows? Yeah, I just can't see anything through there. I'm definitely going to go through the sheet metal one. I just think, like, if anything's anywhere, it's going to be in there. So we'll do 2C4 and uh, 4 rockets, and just see what it turns up. Hopefully rocketing with this ping is going to be okay, but we'll see. It'll be very easy. Oh, I just saw, I think I just saw a light go on in there. Hold on. There we go. Oh, what are we looking at now? I'm trying to make sure there's no one there. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. I mean, like, some of this being stone and not armoured is a good sign. Easy, mate. Easy. I took off this door, which has, oh no, a bow and some build mats. Hey, hold on. Ooh, ooh, I've got ladders. We can see what's going on up here. Hold on now. Go on. Oh, we're up. We're up. No way. TC. TC. Oh, he built it wrong. Ooh. He's built this wrong. He's built this wrong. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Weird loot. Weird loot. I mean, 600 scrap. AKs. Um, I want to find a body, man. I want to find a body. So let's take a look around, okay? So through here, we've got nothing. Up there, nothing. And that's all upstairs. Cooking up some frags for us. Oh, and a bit of sulfur. I'll take that, mate. What do we reckon is in the refinery? Is it? Oh, it's pretty full. It's pretty chocker. Stashes, stashes. Surely there's some stashes. No, it doesn't look like there's anything at all. Okay, so the actual loot tour was a bunch of wood and some ore. What do we got here? Just kind of like tier one loot, if you know what I mean. And some metal chest plates. Okay, interesting mix. An AK back here. What's that? Oh, it's a bone knife. Nice. I mean, I'll, look, I'll take the AK. In fact, I'll use the AK right now, mate. Thank you. Um, this is the impressive, more impressive stuff, right? Bunch of cloth, uh, low grade, and scrap. All nice. Get the bones out of here. I don't need bones. Yeah, looks like there's nothing here at all. I mean, there's foundations placed here anyways, which you can't put stashes under. I think we just go fly off, man, honestly. We'll depot the loot. We'll take uh, count of what we've got left, and then maybe we can, you know, continue some slightly smaller raids, because that wasn't... That wasn't profit, I'll say, but it was interesting. We'll say that much. Okay, I've squeezed out everything we have, and this is what it's come to. We've got one, two, three, oh, only 11 rockets, 4 MLRS, and 85 Expo, plus the six satchels as well. I think we might just go and stick with our original plan of hitting the guy with the SARS around his base. Someone's still at Bandit selling poo, which is very impressive on a server of this low pop. So this guy's active. It's going to be a tough one, and there's a crate at train yard, and it's like the busiest time of the server. Okay, I know I've got pretty bad ping, and flying, doing some like maneuvering and that isn't a good idea. I want to see who it is that's selling the horse poo. If we take a look... Oh no, it's this, that Sin guy. 
He was the guy in chat asking about where our base location is. I reckon he's the guy that lives at the uh, with this base with the turrets though. I still I reckon it's him. That's why he's built so close to Bandit Camp. I understand that for MLRS it is not likely to do very much. The main reason I'm doing it, well, obviously A, the small chance of taking out the turrets. That would be great. But mainly, mainly because I want to use the minigun on some scientists. So this should be fun. Oh. Oh, oh god, I can't jump out! I can't jump out! Jesus Christ! The lag was causing problems there. Oh well. On we go. Where are you? Oh yeah, the re- Jesus Christ, the recoil is something. That's madness that I can hit those shots that accurately though. Oh wow, look how quickly he just mowed that guy down. It does use the ammo a fair bit, but that- look, it's a minigun, right? No one's complaining. Right, we'll just do that. Hopefully it sends it at a decent angle and it hits some of the turrets. Um, fire. Oh, hi there. There we go. Let's go, go gadget. Only four rockets, man. Only or only four uh, MLRS. All its turrets on it still. Ah well. Leave that. Crash. Didn't even crash. We we'll just have to go from the side with no turrets, eh? Um, I might. You know what? I might hit that eight panel there. I'll actually eight rocket that, and it'll get rid of that. Oh, we to hit a bit higher, but we'll get rid of that top turret, which will be great. Oh, see, the things like that, the lag scares me a little bit. Purely just kicking about. How many rockets do we have? Eleven, so we can do this, and then we have three more rockets. And I, well, I'd probably love to door raid it, as it'd be a lot cheaper, maybe. Um, the turrets aren't going to let me. Wait for someone to peek me. See, things like that. Are bloody scary. I've just shot the rocket and I don't know where it's gone. Ah, uh, the turret's still there. That's not ideal. I didn't I thought it would have fallen by now. Should we try spray it with the minigun? Let's spray it with this and see what it does. Oh my god, we're actually decimating it. Now nah, it's on 300 health. It's... Hold on. Hold on now, nah. what's going on here? There's someone with an LR about here. Unless one of those turrets has been loaded with an LR, but I, I doubt it. There he is. Yeah, look at that. Man's dead. That was not the base owner, because he was getting shot at by the turrets, but I'm not going to investigate. Oh, hey, he had a face mask, right? Oh, it's Pelicanos. Okay, so it's not his base, which is a bit unfortunate. But, I mean, look, I'll take the fact that we killed him. There we go. I could have guessed by the fact that he was running with the LR. Did we just try and rocket it? Bro, should we just hit the turret with real rockets? Just, like... I think that'll do it. Oh, that was bad. We had to aim a lot higher. But you know what? We're not going to use these rockets for anything else. Is it gone? It's broken. Perfect. It was actually a lot less than I thought. That's amazing. Let's just run up and see what's in this base then. Um, It's locked? Oh my god. No, who's locking boxes, bro? I was locking everything. No way. Well, I've got a plan for that. We'll just have to thread... Hold on. Guy with an M4 here as well, the shoddy. That, that's the minigun, but that's fine. I don't want to see who's got this M4. We'll probably try and kill him. Oh, I'm, he's dead. Yep, nice. We were almost dead. Jeez, that thing did some damage from far away. I need to start picking up meds off of some of these guys as well, man. Was it Pelicanos again? It was indeed. Give me the M4. Oh, you beauty. Thanks for the delivery, mate. He must live pretty close, to be fair. He's been getting here pretty quick. Says, why are you raiding my backup base? Raider solo, bro. I don't know what he's on about. Well, let's continue. I think it is that Sin guy's base. Let's uh pop that through there. Yeah, hit the garage doors. Hopefully it kills oh, someone with like an M9 or a Revy over there. Hopefully it breaks these workbenches, maybe? Yes, I got one of them. Perfect. And these boxes, let's see what's in them. Oh, oh, that's huge. Oh, nice. Um, I can't say no to that, and then that thing's pretty low. I don't know if we'll have enough to get through that garage door in terms of explosive ammo. We, we shall see. I mean, 3k GP, we could go and make some stuff if we needed. Don't have a mini anymore, though. There, look, someone there. Oh my god, we killed whoever it was. They were so low. What? I totally want to run over and see what they had. Why were they so low? What is this kit? Oh, it was the Sin guy. Look, he's, yeah, he's here. Oh, 2.5k frags. 
he's full on just selling fertilizer so he can make, um, get frags and stuff. I feel a bit bad. So unless you want to wipe me off the server, you got all the good stuff. So we'll probably leave that. Oh my god, I killed this guy as well? I didn't see that we killed this guy. Oh, what, what, what? What? Um, bro, man was triple AK. My guy was triple AK. No, that's mad. That's mad. Um, I don't know how we just suddenly like dominated the server PvP wise in the last 10 minutes. But I'm not complaining. You know what? I might see if that Gunt guy is still online. The real nice guy up by train yard. And maybe he can have some of our stuff. If he's not online, I'll give it to the guy I just raided because he seemed a little bit sad. I'll go and offer it to him. You know what I'm saying? I see his base and oh my, oh what? Bro, he's fully, ex he, he must have been the one running excavator. Got large furnaces and everything. Boy, this guy is stacked now. How's he done that? Alright, look, this um, Pelicanos guy is still going over there and causing this Sing guy a bit of problems. I'm going to run back, yeah? I'm going to smoke the Peli guy real quick. Hopefully. Almost definitely. And then we're going to give this Sing guy all, all our stuff. I decided that's the way I'm going to make things right, okay? Because I did come and let raid him. Yo, Sin, is that you, man? Hey, mate. Oh. Hey, hey, bud. How are you? Sorry, man. I just had to plug in my headset, mate. No, no worries. Look, I thought you were someone else. That's why I raided you, man. Yeah. I only raided you because I thought you were someone else. It's all good, man. Yeah, um, if you want to fly to the sulfur quarry where I live, nah. I've got some stuff for you. Yeah, buddy, how are you? Yeah, good. Here, come to the sulfur quarry. Oh, you're all right, man. Like, nah, it's, it's all good, man. Like, you, oh, you fucking, yeah, I'm just a solo up here, man. I'm just farming shit. Here, come in. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, you're quite I genuinely. I brought this new uh, skin door, man. That's. A... You really are yeah. just farming shit. Yeah, you yeah, close, yeah, man. close like, the door yeah. unless those, in case those other guys come <laughs> back. I'm a bit scared of them. I killed them so many times, but still, don't yeah, want them taking what's yours. Bro, like, I'm not worried, man. Like, at the end of the day, man, it is rust, and, like, you do oh, get raided. That's why I'm not yeah. pissy, man. Like, I'm like, ah, oh, fucking shit happens, bro, you know? Nah, spot on, spot so, on. But, yeah, man, like I said, man, like, come, come in, mate. You're welcome. And if you want to oh, know, yeah. this goes into my core here. I build a center core, and it goes oh. straight through into here. Oh, yeah, right. man, and then the back, so they can't, well, so you can't get through the back wall here, that's it. That's the only good bit about this. Hey, I'll yeah. give him this real quick. Yep, you got my ammo, man. <laughs> oh, what the f***? No, you can't, man. I won't use it. I won't use it, man. <laughs> I simply won't. You saw my guns. I told, what if I told you I'm getting off, sick, mate? That's sick, man. That's cool. I'm getting off, mate. Uh huh? I'm getting off. I I've done my time on yeah. this server. Hey, bro, he's well, locked everything, look. Oh, you're out of here, are you, man? Oh, you're CMX yeah. cool, bro. <laughs> oh, what the f***? <laughs> really, man? Bro, you've earned it. You've been, you've been the Are best sport. Are you really out of here, bro? That's it. Yeah, you're the best sport on this server. Oh. Cheers, mate. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair. Uh, good raid. Oh, thanks very much, man. I'll let you out. Oh, no, no. Don't do that. I'm just going to F1. For the, cheers for that, too, man. Don't open that door. There's some oh, very angry okay, people no. outside. But I might see you around Don't another day. Don't open that door for now. All right, mate. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> might see you around, yeah. Yeah, I hope so, mate. I hope to see you back here. Right, you're a um. Yeah, yeah. I hope so, man. All the best to you. All right. Have all a the day. best. Thanks mate. very much for everything, man. No worries. You have a good one. See you, man. Bye. There we go. What a legend. Um, the Peli Kinos guy. I could definitely hear just outside stomping on his base. Oh, the turrets are off. No wonder. Yeah, look. There's that guy there. <laughs> You might want to come and close. I don't think he hey knows. Hey man, please no. Please no. I don't think he knows the door to this thing's Boss, open. I'm sort of, I'm sort of already been raided, man. That guy just did, did me over, eh? Just turned on the turrets. I heard everything. Just turned on, turned on the turrets. He's stuck in there now. <laughs> Oh, that's quite, oh, there we go. That's quite funny. <laughs> well, lads, thank you very much. If you managed to stick around to the end of this pretty good wipe, make sure you like, subscribe, send Ariana a grande pictures of your dick. We've done pretty well. And yeah, thank you very much for the 1k subs. Make sure you say, if you'd like a special of some sort, got any ideas, drop it in the comments. Say, let me know. Let me, let me uh, gather some opinions on what it should be. But yes, as always, I shall see you around, guys. Thank you very much, and good night.